Hello. Here are some example games showing various themes about attacking, and there's another video to come about defending. The first attacking theme uh, that I'd like to show you a game about is uh, attacking the king stuck in the middle. And uh, here's a game um, b uh, played between Poland and Austria at the Olympiad um, in uh, 1936, I think. And uh, I'll not pay too much attention to the opening. Um, White uh, has let the e-pawn go. He's uh, got the two bishops for it. Um, Black tries to hang on to the pawn. Um, obviously it's safer to let it go, but Black knew this and wanted to hang on to it. <coughs> and uh, White makes it a full gambit by sacrificing, well, ad ad adding the, uh, the f-pawn. And now white's got two pieces in play against black's none, and has paid for this with a pawn. Um, check from the queen, uh, get a piece out with gain of time, and uh, uh, it's uh, you can could have taken the e pawn, the, sorry the d pawn directly, so it's actually a sacrifice of two pawns, um, but gets another piece out. Black quite correctly, from the point of view of defender, offers to swap queens. Now if there's no attack with the queens off or not an easy attack with the queens off black is just going to win with the two extra pawns um, white could uh, sorry black could even be careless enough to develop and give a pawn back and or d to give a pawn back deliberately to make white, white waste time and we'll be fine um, so white must keep the queens on and uh, that's the square for it looks a bit odd anyhow black carries on developing white uh, sorry uh, white gets another move development by attacking the queen uh, and now white has connected the rooks which I said was a good test of whether you're ready to attack or not and now um, I uh, when black wants to develop the queen side um, the bish the queen on uh, g2 is obviously looking at the pawn on uh, b7 but I think these are things that black didn't ought to be concerned about I think black would be well advised to castle in this position um, if there's no immediate disaster, uh, but actually they played knight to uh, c6, and after knight to b5, um, which attacks the c pawn, I think again what black might well have been advised to just let that go and get safe, but they decided to defend with queen to f7, and now white plays a very important move, um, cutting the king off from castling. So now the king is stuck in the middle, and that's a uh, th that's going to be hugely important. Now what Bl White's plan is very uh, uh, simply is to blast the position open if they can and get at the king. So a uh, six now retreating the knight is not as good as advancing the bishop, and now there's a threat to pick up the uh, knight, and if Black retakes on c6. Uh, there's a fork of king and rook, so knight to d8 uh, gets the king out the knight out of the way, and uh, defends the b pawn. Queen to d2 threatens to take the knight on d8 with mate, so white black white black blocks with knight to d5, and white um, takes it off. And now if black retakes the bishop. Um, we have a uh, check. Um, I mean, what can uh, white uh, black do here? Um, there's a perhaps best is to put the knight in the way. Uh, queen takes d5 again, threatening mate because the knight is pinned. Queen to d7, rook takes e6 check. Queen takes and knight ta uh, knight takes e7 check, and white wins. So that's if in this position black retakes. And black didn't do that. What black took the knight on b5, but those bishops do look very threatening now. Um, white brought the last piece into the attack, rook h e1, and now this uh, this is very awkward with uh, bishop to d7. Uh, white, black is uh, hoping to shore things up a bit and keep things safe. Um, and there just isn't a combinational blow here, uh, at least not yet. Um, but the black is black is firmly stuck in the middle, so what we need is open lines, and uh, white uses the pawn to force open some more lines, so threatens g takes f5, 
and uh, and then we'll go on as far as they can to E6 and beyond. So uh, well at the moment, black doesn't want to uh, give white the chance to open up lines with a move like uh, F takes G5, um, knight to C6, which may not have been the most accurate. I wonder if G6 was a better idea here, but that's loosening again. Knight to C6, and now G takes F5, takes F5, and uh, takes on E6, uh, which is uh, very forcing. Um, if the queen takes, obviously they lose the queen, so bishop takes, and now the rather splendid finish, queen to d7, checkmate. So that's how it's done. I mean, in the, uh, keep the king in the middle with the uh, bishop, and use these uh, powerful rooks in the middle to blast open away to the king. That's the attack against the king in the middle. Um, to attack the king in the... Uh, uh, attack the king that's castled. We'll uh, try a different. Uh, have a look at a different game here. And this is the game uh, Ermenkov against uh, a, a chap called Grun. And uh, 